Hello everyone, welcome to Kids Church. I hope you're all warm and comfy in your homes. Today we are reading another psalm. So if you want to turn right to the middle of your Bible, we'll turn to Psalm 131, which is a very short psalm. And it's a song that King David wrote about how he was feeling at the time and describing to us how we can feel that way too. He says he was feeling content. So do you know what content means? Let's ask the Connerty kids. I can't remember. It means you don't get worried. I mean. It means to feel happy and satisfied. That's right, Connerties. It means to feel satisfied. It means you aren't worried or anxious. It means you're not looking for something else to make you feel happy. It means you're feeling quiet and still on the inside. Peaceful. At the moment there are lots of worrying things going on and the world feels like a bit of a scary place. We're in lockdown which means we can't go to church and be together, we can't go to school or the park or play sport or do lots of the things that we love. And of course some of you will be feeling anxious or sad or a bit muddled. But do you know what God is telling us today? Do you know what God is telling you today from Psalm 131? He's telling you you're okay. He's telling us that he loves us. He's telling you that he loves you. He loves you so, 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 so much. And he's reminding us that we can trust him. David tells us that when he understood how much God loved, loved him and who God was, that he felt quiet on the inside. He felt content. He says, put your hope in the Lord now and forevermore. And that's what he's telling us today. Put your hope in the Lord now and forevermore. So this week, if you feel muddled or anxious or worried, remember to put your hope in the Lord. Ask him for his help. Ask him to help you feel quiet on the inside. Pray to him. Tell him how you feel. Tell him all about the things you're worried about and muddled about or sad about. Tell him the things you're missing out on. And remember that he loves you. And let that make you feel happy. Let that give you comfort. So, the three things we're going to remember. Put your hope in the Lord. Ask him for his help to do this. Because he loves you. Put your hope in the Lord. Put your hope in the Lord. Ask God for help. Because he loves you. And God loves you.